Hey, this is Tim with Game Time. Um, here I've got another game uh, to unbox here. Uh, Caverna Cave uh, Farmers, The Forgotten Folk. This is an expansion to the original. It's got Uwe, but it's also got a new guy, Alex uh, Wilbur. Uh, let's look at games. Um, that's kind of the back cover here. Uh, one to seven players, 30 minutes per player. Um, basically, from what I know about this, is you can pick different races other than dwarves. Um, to play as uh, in this one. So I was pretty excited about this. Let me take a look at it. There's some bags. Okay, forgotten folk here. Looks like there's about 12 pages of rolls. Let's see, you got trolls. Oh, trolls. Um, uh, silicoids. I guess that's rock people. Uh, pale ones. That's my people. Uh, <laughs> mountain dwarves. Humans, um, dark elves, elves, uh, cave goblins, and I guess dwarves as well. But yeah, looks like most everything is the new sides. Uh, yeah, so here's the mountain dwarves. Um, I'm just gonna take it out. It's just all right here. Um, oh, let me get rid of this guy. Get this. A little careful. Okay. Oh, we got humans, uh, which I don't think humans were on there. Or maybe they're the pale ones. Yeah, that's interesting. That name is different. Oh no, here's the pale ones. Uh, okay, it's just I don't know. Tireless diggers. You may use the drift mining and excavation action spaces if they are occupied by another player. Well, that's cool. So they have like different abilities on them, is what it looks like to me. Uh, endless tunnels, uh, twin tiles may overhang in the mountain. Each time you place an overhanging tile, you immediately get one gold and one mushroom. The office room has no effect for you. And then disinterest in nature. Each time you are supposed to play a twin tile in the forest, you may only place a single field or meadow tile. Scoring during the scoring, you do not suffer any negative VP from unused forest spaces. Oh, that's really cool. So they're like miners, I guess. Dark elves. Uh, go goblins? Dark Elves have an ability called Goblins? On expeditions, you have access to an alternate strength 10 loot item. At the cost of two wood and one stone, you may furnish a normal dwelling and immediately place a goblin inside. The goblin is considered an adult person. You can take actions with it starting from the next round. Dark Elves are limited to six people total. So I guess they get more people? Because I, I can't remember. I think it's five is your max. But, uh, okay, so they have new things they can do. Deep mines, you get one ruby, even if you place a ruby mine on a normal tunnel. Nice. During scoring, you do not score any VP for dwelling. So I'm not going to read all of these. I just want to do two of them. So dark elves and pale ones. Um, you've got humans, which I don't remember reading humans. Maybe I just read it a second ago to you. Um, but it's got new places, too. Uh, Mead parlor, scarecrow, um, salage bin? I think that's what that is. Uh, gym, gym fruits. I guess they can eat. Jim Fruits, I, I don't really know. And it looks like it had some uh, more tiles, uh, like from the original game. Uh, and it looks like it's got maybe an explanation of each of the... Yeah, yeah, so it's got like a visual explanation of their abilities. Because it's kind of got that up there as well. But, uh, okay, interesting. So here's the silicoids. Um, oh, put this right here. These are kind of stuck together. I want to get these out. And the trolls, uh, quarrying room, jeweler, water troughs, stone trader. You have the falling special ability. At the start of each harvest, three food. You can give up three food twice to get one VP. Or one VP to get a stone. It's been a little bit since I've played this, so I think... Oh, no, wait, 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 wait. So that, uh, I think that's the gold. That's the gold, I think, in the game. It doesn't look like gold, but I think it is, which is also a VP, consequently. Um, as I recall, that's that's what that is. Yeah, yeah, it's a gold coin. It's a gold coin. Um, here's the little goblin right here. Trolls. Big, big sack. <laughs> you always get one additional loot item from expeditions, which may be different from the other chosen items. Big club when forging weapon, you must pay exactly two wood instead of ore. Getting a weapon of strength four for it. Wow, so they're strong. I guess they go out and um, 
do expeditions a lot. Uh, mountain dwarves, um, cave goblins, elves. So one, two, three, four, five. Six. So these are eight all together. So I guess mountain dwarves, so elves and cave goblins right here, forgotten cave, guard dog school, menagerie, yeah, kennels, uh, bird hide, open market at the start. Here's a hunter's hut. And I guess I'll read a couple of these in just a moment. But I just want to read the original dwarves because I guess, you know, uh, these are the guys from the original game or the um, their version of them in this, this expansion. So, Master Artificers, each time you pay a wood cost, you may choose to pull all or part of the cost with stone or ore or a mixture instead. Okay, interesting. Delving deep twin tiles may... Overhang in the mountain. Each time you place an overhang tile, you immediately get two gold. The officer has no effect for your disinterest in nature. So these are kind of similar to the other guys I was just reading about. Uh, the pale ones. Each time you, uh, this one right here. Each time you are supposed to place a twin tile in the forest, you may only, okay, so only one. And then during scoring, you do not suffer any negative BP for unused forest spaces. So these guys are pretty close to the, um, the pale ones. That's interesting. Okay, maybe they're like rivals or something. Okay, so here's a concert organ. So as I recall, the yellow is at the end of the game. No, nope, that's not right. <laughs> um, okay, so let's read it. At the start of each harvest, uh, one gold per adjacent empty cavern. Nice training room. Uh, before each expedition with an armed person, you can do this ability. Uh, it's one ore, and you can upgrade a weapon by one. That's what it looks like to me. But yeah, there's a lot of new guys here, and it looks like each of these guys has a goblin on them. Lazy, clumsy, incompetent. Each time a goblin for well, this is incompetent. Each time a goblin forges a weapon, its strength will be two less than the amount of ore paid. Consequently, goblins pay three to eight ore to get a weapon of strength one to six. Huh. I, that's interesting. So there's different ones, mushrooms. Mushrooms, and these are the gem fruits, so you can like eat fruits, or you can, it's a new resource, it looks like, and this looks kind of like an apple. That's weird. Gem fruits can be sown only in empty fields, so that must be, yeah, and I bet it's these guys, I bet these guys use the gem fruits right here. Oh, well, maybe not, I don't know. Gosh, this is all weird. But, but yeah, this is the new expansion here. Um, it is called uh, The Forgotten Folk. Um, I'm just showing you a little bit of it, but yeah, it's got these eight races and a lot of new stuff it looks like for the game. Uh, thanks for watching. It's Tim out. Bye.